Tonight, there's massive controversy at the EDD. Millions of Californians could be forced to repay some or all of that unemployment benefit that they collected during the pandemic. It's a double whammy from the state's unemployment system. Yes, we've learned the state doled out too much money to some recipients who thought they were following all the rules, and now they may have to pay it all back. And that's on top of the millions who were defrauded and are still waiting to be reimbursed. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Waite has the latest. EDD has wasted billions of dollars and has caused heartache for millions of Californians. California lawmakers at a hearing continuing to try and untangle the bureaucratic monster that is California's unemployment system, otherwise known as EDD. I'm grateful for new leadership at EDD. Um, but I'm also frustrated, and I, I think like a lot of my constituents, I'm really frustrated by the slow pace of progress and by the kind of seemingly never-ending revelations of new failings at the department. EDD is still reeling from being defrauded of at least $11 billion, money that was siphoned out of deserving accounts of California's unemployed by scammers organized by crime rings, some international and even prison inmates committing identity fraud on a massive scale. Fraudsters and criminals have stolen some 11 billion or possibly up to 27 billion dollars from California taxpayers and that is outrageous and the situation continues to worsen today the state released an independent audit into the EDD the report found that poor planning and ineffective management led to massive failures when the pandemic crashed the economy and a tidal wave of unemployed people overwhelmed the department but I need that money and I, I can't access it. Brad Hunt was among the victims of the massive fraud scandal. His account is still frozen. What's really demoralizing about it is I know that the money's there. I know that I actually have money in that account, but I can't access it. The audit found the EDD committed a fatal error. It loosened eligibility requirements when COVID hit, trying to help as many people as possible. But that just made it easier for thieves and could hurt millions who filed legitimate claims. They may have to repay the state some of the money they received but weren't really entitled to. Assemblyman Jim Patterson. The fraudsters have already gotten away with it. They've already ripped off taxpayers. But the legitimate ones who followed all the rules when the EDD lowered the eligibility requirements are now going to be held to a higher standard and forced to repay. Assemblyman Patterson was one of 40 bipartisan lawmakers in California that ordered the audit of the EDD. Of course, they'd heard so many nightmare stories about what was going on there and wanted a status report. I'm Tom Wade, KCAL 9 News.